Hello everybody, it has been a year now since I decided to keep this jackfruit tree and now I have changed my mind that I made the decision I am not going to keep this jackfruit tree and today I'm going to show you not only this tree but another jackfruit tree that my neighbor is going to get rid of and we're going to talk about why we would get rid of jackfruit trees. Now this tree here uh, was supposed to be a black gold variety jackfruit tree and it turns out it wasn't a black gold, it was a seedling and it was a great, very sweet taste, but the consistency is super soft. And I myself love soft jackfruits, but this was even too soft for me. But well, last year I made a video and I decided to have my friends taste this. And they all agreed the taste was wonderful. Even though the consistency was soft, I decided to keep this tree another year. Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees. And this is my jackfruit tree here that I'm actually about to cut down because I don't like the fruit on here. But I've had a fruit on here years before that I did like. This particular fruit here that I'm about to cut down, I would estimate is over 40 pounds. So I could be wrong, but it is ready. It hasn't cracked, which is a good sign because a lot of the fruits have cracked on this. But I'm about to take it down now. It smells great. It's soft. It's ready. It smells good. This is its tree's last chance. I mean, I still have three smaller ones on there, but if this is good, I'll consider keeping the tree. But if this is not good, the tree is deaf. I'm already made up my mind to get rid of the tree, but I'll see how this one is. But that's uh, the jackfruit story. Uh, it's staying. And thank you to uh, who tasted this and everyone else that gave me your input. Uh, we'll see what happens, but one more year will survive. This year I had about 14 jackfruits on here. This tree is about seven or eight years old. However, uh, they were just too difficult to consume, to cut open, and when you, ha you have limited space, you have to make a wise decision. And I think the real estate of this space uh, will be used better planting something else. Now, I will try to leave the stump and graft on to here another type of jackfruit that I've been wanting, a uh, Bangkok lemon jackfruit. However, we will see if that happens because it's not as easy to graft jackfruit as it is mangoes. So we'll try that and see how that goes. If that doesn't work, we'll have to put something else here. But at least we'll try to save the jackfruit uh, tree by putting something else on there. But we will be cutting this back drastically. Of the 14 jackfruits I had on here this year, I ate only about two. I gave some away and the rest went to waste uh, because it's just not a, a fun jackfruit to consume uh, because of how soft it is, unfortunately. So that is the update on this jackfruit. All right, as I cut down that tree, I will let you know or, or show you, try to get it on video and show you me cutting it a little. Uh, it's just so sad. I don't know if I want to film that sadness, but we'll figure it out. And hopefully the new jackfruit variety will take on there. So I do want to ask if any of you out there that are watching do have experience with grafting jackfruit trees with success, and you could help me out. I'm in uh, the West Palm Beach area, Lake Worth. Maybe if you're open to coming on out and helping me, uh, we could do a nice video and you could show us how you graft jackfruit. Uh, let me know. Contact me at the email below. Thank now, while we're doing this, I want to talk about and show you my neighbor's jackfruit. Because my neighbor does have a Bangkok lemon, which is one of the top rated jackfruits out there. But because of the extreme heat this year and him being busy and the amount of fruit he had on the tree, even he himself decided to let some of the jackfruit go to waste this year. And some of them are literally on the tree hanging right now that are just no, uh, no longer good uh, because he's just been too busy. Jackfruit is a wonderful tree to have, uh, but it's a lot of work to get the fruit and, and, and peel it and eat it up. That's why I like to have those jackfruits like the China jackfruit, which is self-peel, easy peel, and just tastes wonderful. I did replant a, or, or plant a, a black gold a back there, a variety that I got from a better source to know that I was a correct variety. Uh, the tree's growing really well, so we'll see how that does. This is over here, I'll show you that one. So it's growing back there right now. So that's a uh, black gold, we'll see how that does. And this has been an interesting year for jackfruit because besides that jackfruit, which I'm gonna get rid of or try to tap work, I had another jackfruit, as you remember, I made a video about that. Unfortunately, I thought it was going to be a soft peel uh, Boca Champa Doc and it wasn't so I ended up taking that out now I do have some jackfruits here that I planted from seedlings so we'll see how those come out 
And some jackfruits, they'll grow up straight and, and you can keep them limiting the space so they don't take up that space. But many jackfruits grow really wide. We'll go over to my neighbor's yard and show you his jackfruits right now and show you how much space they actually can take. That tree I'm cutting down is actually getting into my neighbor's yard. It's becoming a wide tree as well. Another reason to take it down is not the best spot. Uh, but if you are going to plant jackfruit and you don't have a lot of space, uh, they can go straight up instead of going wide. So that's something to consider. Let's go to my neighbors and see how his jackfruits are doing. So this is one of two jackfruit trees I'm going to talk about here at my neighbors. You see how much room it takes up. This is the Bangkok lemon tree. This is a top-notch jackfruit. Uh, it's just wonderful. But all jackfruits, or, or not all, but many of them, are, uh, they take time to harvest and to cut open. And as you can see, there's a good amount of jackfruit on here that he didn't harvest and they're just going bad on the tree and he loves jackfruit and he loves this one and so do I look at that it's just going bad on the tree it's a shame it's really terrible but there's a ton of jackfruit on this tree now some of them he did harvest uh, and normally they're this size every year for some reason this year they were a lot smaller so that's interesting but he still has some on there but a lot of them have went to waste. Look at all the ones on the floor. When you're busy, these, you're not just cutting them and eating them. They, You got to peel them. You got to clean them. They're very sticky. So you want to consider that. And look at the amount of space this tree has taken. Now, this tree is good and to keep her. And, and I actually want this variety as well. Uh, but we come over to this variety here. This variety is called Excalibur Red. And you can see there's a bunch of fruit on there. Now, I haven't liked this variety, at least from this yard. And I've, I've, I've seen other people say they like this variety, but I don't, and he doesn't. And it's taking up a lot of space. But again, he's gonna get rid of this tree, most likely, and keep the Bangkok lemon tree. That'll open up a lot of the area of the shade. But it's a sad thing because it's a, a nice looking tree, but the, it's just not a, a good taste in variety. Uh, so you got to be careful when you pick the variety of jackfruit you're going you're gonna to get. So I don't recommend this Excalibur Red. However, some people said Excalibur Red was wonderful, so maybe it's just this particular variety. But I do recommend the Bangkok Lemon. And I'm going to go now and show you two other jackfruit trees that I have. All right, so those were my neighbor's jackfruit trees. And when I got more jackfruit trees, I wanted to get trees that were easy peel, like the Chine jackfruit, which is like a combination of a champadoc and a jackfruit. Uh, and then I wanted to get dwarf varieties. So this is a Cochan variety. It's a dwarf variety. And uh, so that's one right there. Actually, no, this one is the... The honey gold, honey gold variety. It's still a dwarf variety. Uh, it's not easy peel from what I understand, but it's a dwarf variety, so I put it here. And this one over here, I'll show you, is uh, the Cochan. This is the Cochan, which is another dwarf variety, and from what I understand, easy peel. So those are the jackfruits, and it's much limited now. When I first started planting, I planted a a lot more jackfruit and like I showed you I have some jackfruit seedlings over there we'll see how they come out but if you're in South Florida I'm starting to realize mangoes are the way to go because jackfruits nice because you can freeze them but avocados and jackfruits were things that I planted a lot of and, and, and thought they'd be ideal for this environment but I'm finding out now that you, you, mangoes, there's such a variety and such a big season of mangoes. Jackfruits are great because they're away from the mango season often because mango season is over now and now is the time when many jackfruits are ready. So I'm not against planting jackfruit. I just think people need to be wise about, about the varieties and they shan't, sh can't just plant anything, especially if you don't have a big space. If you don't have a big space, you definitely want to not plant seedling jackfruits because they say seedling jackfruits 
uh, they, they come out very close to the true jackfruit, but that's not all the time, and you don't want to wait five or six years and then get something that's not, that's not a true jackfruit. So this tree here is my jujube tree, and within it, I have a jackfruit seedling that fell under there years ago, and it's, it's getting pretty tall, and I haven't cut it out. So that was more of an experiment just to see what would happen if these two trees grew close together. But it's still growing. We'll see how that one is. Now here's the other side of, of my fence. And that's the jackfruit tree that I'm going to cut out. So if you move this, you see how it's coming over the fence and starting to get in the way of my other trees. This is uh, my neighbor's yard and my fence. And you see it's, it's really coming out. A lot, as a matter of fact, there were two jackfruits there that we end, I ended up giving away to someone. But So they started to come over to his side. Now, if it was a good jackfruit, I wouldn't mind to have as many jackfruits as possible there. Unlike my neighbor, I wouldn't have been too, easy, uh, too tired or busy to pick those. But it wasn't motivating because they weren't a, as good. So this, that whole tree is going to go out in open space for either another variety of jackfruit or another tree completely all together. While we're here in the front yard, I'll show you this here is another seedling that I planted. I don't remember which seedling it was, but my neighbor let me plant something here, so I figured I'd take a chance with that. No water on it, but it looks like it's hanging in there. That might have been the China jackfruit, a seedling of that. So we'll see how that does. Okay, everybody. Now, surprisingly, there's a lot of people that are growing mangoes out here, but not as many people growing jackfruit as you would think. But it is a wonderful tree to have in the yard. Again, it's away from the mango season often because sometimes they come right when the mangoes are in season, but often they come after the mango season. And sometimes you might even get a variety that's off season that comes in the winter time. So, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of planting jackfruits, but know which variety, taste the variety first, make sure you like it. Uh, someone like, some people like the harder variety, some people like the softer variety. That, the tree I'm getting rid of just happened to be a seedling. It was supposed to be a black gold, which I've had before and I do like, but that one ended up being a seedling of who knows what. I got it from a source where they didn't do the diligence to get me a good enough tree. I've debated for years if I should keep it. I hate to cut down a tree that's giving fruit, but I'm going to try to uh, cut it back and graft onto it and see what happens. And I'll keep you all updated with that. Thankfully, my neighbor has a variety, the Bangkok lemon that I want, so I can get some, some graft uh, budwood from that and to try to put it on that tree. And we'll see how it goes. And that's the story with that. All right, everybody, let me know your experience with jackfruits, what your favorite variety is and what trees you have and how they're growing and do you have seedlings and how they turned out. And if you have a yard and you'd like me to come on out and film your jackfruit trees, I'd love to. Please contact me. My email's below. Until then, everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Have a great day and keep growing.